Progressive Liberal Party leader Philip Davis, in a national address, admitted that his party lost the trust of the Bahamian people during the 2017 general election, but he did not offer an outright apology for the Christie administration's actions at the helm. His address Monday night touched on a number of topics, including corruption, the economy, education, and crime. The opposition leader says the Bahamian people, with their votes, sent a message that was loud and clear. We have already begun a period of listening, of consultation and reflection. We approach this task with humility and with determination. In our conversations throughout the archipelago, Bahamians tell us they still profoundly support the ideology and mission of the PLP. They know that the PLP has brought about the biggest, best, and most profound positive changes that are the foundation of the modern Bahamas. And they still believe that the PLP remains a powerful force for good in our country. But Bahamians also want us to know that along the way, we lost their trust on too many fronts. We know it's up to us to earn it back. As for the Prime Minister's national address, Mr. Davis said it left the opposition perplexed and offered no vision, no concrete policies, and no credible plans for taking the country forward. Mr. Davis called on government to ensure its anti-corruption measures are independently institutionalized. Davis also focused on the economy. The Prime Minister offered no plan for growth. He offered no vision for diversifying the economy. He had nothing to say about alleviating the high burden of debt which stops so many households from moving up the economic ladder. What is the strategy for getting new revenue into the economy? Where is the plan for growing the economic pie? Instead, the Prime Minister announced across the board cuts and the intention to make thousands of Bahamians unemployed. In doing so, the government is risking putting the economy back into recession, which would mean excruciating hardships for families.